Welcome to Bon Meats Food, where I share my passion for making food, eating food, as well as traveling the world to discover and eat even more delicious food. We are in Melbourne, Australia, where we are currently spending the holiday season with Chris's family. We're having a summer Christmas, which I'm really, really excited about. It's really great to be able to get to escape the winter that is back in New York City. I'm not a fan of winter, and I love the warmth and the sun, so really happy to be seeing Santas here that are wearing, that are on surfboards, wearing their little Santa hats. It's so much fun to be able to see how Melbourne and how Australia treat Christmas. There's Christmas decorations pretty much every single place that you go. There are cars that are wearing Rudolph red noses as well as reindeer uh, antlers. And you're also able to see all the Christmas lights and decorations pretty much in every single neighborhood that you go to. So really loving that, really loving the Christmas spirit here in Australia. We're also, of course, spending a lot of time with family and friends, as well as exploring the different foods that are in Melbourne. Melbourne is super eclectic and diverse in terms of the cultures, the cuisines that are here. And we also have some staples that we oftentimes will visit pretty much every single year that we come back for Christmas. So one of those places is actually right across the street from where we are right now, and it is called Lamb on Chapel. They actually call themselves the home of Australia's famous souvlaki, and you're gonna find out why very soon, but it's a staple of a place that we always go to when we come back to Melbourne. Chris has been obsessed with it pretty much since his college days, and since we started coming back together, since we became a couple, I really personally have looked forward to eating it, and it's always a meal that we make sure to have while we're here. And just to get your bearings for where exactly in Melbourne we are, because Melbourne is quite spread out, Lamb on Chapel is located on Chapel Street, which is in the South Guerra neighborhood of Melbourne. So it's a really fun, eclectic, kind of like a hipster type place. There's a lot of really cool shops, really great restaurants and cute cafes. There's also a lot of really great street art in the area as well. So that's also something that I like to see and do while we come back. I like to explore the different neighborhoods, see what's changed here over here, but of course revisit the old staples in terms of food. So we're gonna go check out Lamb on Chapel right now. So you'll see what all of the hype for Chris and me is all about. They're really, really friendly here and really quick. So we already got both of our lamb gyros. So every time we come here, we always order the exact same thing because it's that delicious. We always order the original lamb souvlaki. So what it comes with is, it's going to be a really nice, freshly made pita. And then inside is gonna always be lettuce, tomato, onion, as well as, of course, the lamb from the spit. And the goal, at least what Chris tells me the goal is, is to make sure that it's as tightly wrapped up so that it doesn't totally fall apart as you're eating it. So we're gonna take a bite into this right now so you can see exactly how juicy and delicious this is gonna be. Still super hot. Ooh, a lot of wrapper. I'm gonna do my best to be as neat as possible, but I can't make any guarantees. So I might get a little bit messy around my face and my fingers. First bite, well, first bite, you know, once a year anyway. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. It's the same flavor I, I get excited about. Every single year we come back to Melbourne around Christmas. It's always on the list of places that we have to hit up that we cannot not go to. Meat's super juicy. It's really moist. You can get that nice charred flavor from the lamb from the spit. And then this pita is so, so nice and fluffy. It even feels like it's slightly grilled as well. So it's got some char marks on it. They're also really great about the way that they cut the meat here. So I'm just gonna pull out a piece so that you can see. But it is really thinly sliced. So you never have to worry about getting too big of a chunk of meat into each bite. 
but it means that every bite that you're going to take, there's going to be an even distribution of meat in each of the bites, along with the crispness of the lettuce, the juiciness of the tomato. And then of course, there's also tzatziki inside to give it that tangy, kind of garlicky flavor that really complements each bite really, really well with this lamb sulaki. When you eat an individual bite of each chunk of the lamb sulaki, you can get more of that charred flavor too. It's really, really good and so, so juicy. So some sulaki places you go to, they don't give you that much meat, but here they're definitely giving you really, really good value. As you can tell just from looking at this that there's a ton of meat here relative to how much lettuce, tomato, onion, and tzatziki you have. And the other nice thing to know is that the pita is actually not too thick. It's actually much thinner than a lot of the Euro or Sublaki places that I've been to back home in the States. You can tell it's really thin. There's actually like layers of the bread that you can see if you kind of pull it apart. But then despite the many layers, it's actually quite thin. So you don't feel as heavy as you might after eating other Sublakis.
And thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.